My name is Will Patton. I'm the average director here at uh, Bresca in Washington, D.C. Bresca is uh, Chef Ryan Rutino's gastronomy concept. Uh, so we do global food, but through a very like Parisian influence and uh, style. Uh, the cocktails mimic Chef Ryan's cooking, and we use seasonal ingredients, incorporating culinary techniques. Uh, and this cocktail that I'm preparing to you today, sim named simply Strawberry, uh, is part of our study and flavor series, where uh, we're taking inspiration from uh, Jen Yamamoto in Tokyo and creating a cocktail that really showcases a singular flavor, this one being Harry's Berries from Northern California. Uh, we want to really capture the luscious flavor of the Harry's Berries, showcasing it in a couple of different ways, uh, while having a nice aperitif welcoming cocktail for the cocktail tasting experience. Uh, Harry's Berries are Really fantastic strawberry coming out of uh, Northern California. It was started in the late 60s by Harry Iwamoto. Uh, what's really cool about them is they're non-commercial uh, varieties of berries, having very sweet, luscious texture and a deep red color, but also amazingly consistent from year to year, uh, only being produced for a limited amount of time. Uh, they're one of the premier strawberries of the Michelin food world because of that fantastic flavor and their unique production. So we're taking 40 grams of the Harry's Berry strawberries as well as 20 milliliters of a Harry's Berry strawberry syrup that we make by macerating the strawberries for three days. The sugar extracting that flavor and then little minimal amount fermentation adding some funk. Next we want to muddle getting all of those flavors mixing together. Next, we're going to do 45 milliliters of Martini and Rossi and brought to vermouth as a nice little vanilla, chamomile, slight bitter notes, showcasing the sweetness and balancing that out of the Harry's Berries. Another quick muddle. Whip shake getting to chill. And finally, top it off with a nice brute rose, brioche, strawberry again but to dry out and add a little bit of effervescence. and served with the Harry's Berries on the side. Bon appetit.